If you want to start your own podcast, Anchor has everything you need. It's the easiest way to make a podcast, and it's free. They have a creation tool that allows you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. And Anchor will also distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. And the best part, you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's literally everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So download the Anchor app or you can go to anchor.fm to get started. That's A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M. Today's topic, toxic relationships. So I know I'm not the only one who's been in a toxic relationship, but a lot of us just don't know how to identify them as being toxic. So let's start with the basics. What is toxic? According to Webster's Dictionary, toxic is containing or being poisonous material, especially when capable of causing death. I don't know about you, but I don't want anything in my life that could be deadly. So that includes toxic relationships, toxic individuals, toxic situations, toxic circumstances, Toxic relationships can be found in various forms. It just doesn't have to be your girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife. Toxic relationships can be family members, moms, dads, brothers, sisters, cousins, baby mamas, baby daddies, best friends, workplaces, your coworker, you know, that messy coworker who's always involving you in drama, that supervisor that has it out for you. Um, There are so many different toxic situations that you can be involved in that it really becomes important that you identify these situations so that you can make changes and remove yourself from the equation because that toxic individual is not going to remove themselves from the situation. They like being toxic. So it's important that you identify anything that's not healthy to your growth, your productivity, your happiness, your health is toxic and it needs to be removed from your life. A lot of times that people think that that may be harder than what it really is. But trust me, if you can identify it as not being good for you, if you can identify it as being something that is harming your well-being, harming your peace, not allowing you to have the happiest life that you can have because of somebody else, then that is somebody or something that needs to be removed from your life. If it's something as far as family, that may just mean you can't go to the family reunion not that you dislike your family because there may still be a form of love there for them but because it's unhealthy for you then it is in your best interest to not attend these events um same thing with work environments if you're in a work environment that's unhealthy to you if it's a situation where you go to work and you're leaving with headaches or you're going to work and you're coming home mad every day or if you're going to work and dealing with unnecessary drama at that time you need to pull out your resume update that bad boy and start applying for as many jobs as you can find that you are qualified for because at that time it's time for you to move on you've identified that this is a toxic relationship it's unhealthy it's unbeneficial you're not gaining anything from being in this situation so at that point you know what you need to do move on you need to remove yourself from the equation I know myself personally I've been in so many toxic situations which is why I'm able to have this conversation and why I wanted to explain to other people the importance of removing yourself from the situation because a lot of times we will stay in situations even though we know that they're toxic we know they're no good for us we will stay in these situations out of fear out of fear of not knowing what's to come out of fear of starting over out of fear of you know, letting ourselves down, a lot of times our egos even play a role into it. I'm not going to remove myself from this equation because, well, how does that make me look? No, don't worry about any of that stuff. You need to focus and do what's best for you because that toxic individual is doing what's best for them. That's why they're toxic. They keep you in their life because they're toxic. They keep you in your lives in their lives because they know that you're beneficial to them. There's something that you offer them that they can't offer themselves, which is why they do just enough to keep you around. They realize that you're mad. They do just enough to get keep you happy enough that you'll stay. They identify that you're weak and because of them. And a lot of times they will identify that because they know that you love them. Love is one thing that can be used against you which is so sad because love is such a beautiful thing and I know me personally it sucks to know that I have to keep a guard up because I know how hard I love and 
people will use that as a weakness against me. I just got out of a situation where that was being done. I was being taken advantage of emotionally because of the fact that the individual knew how much I cared about him. So that's why I'm saying if it's a toxic situation, if you're putting in more energy into a situation and not getting the same in return, it's toxic. If it's something where it's an emotional roller coaster, one, a lot of times you'll hear people say, oh, well, when it's good, it's good. When it's bad, it's bad. No, that's not the way that relationships should work. Situations should not come about and it's the end of the world. Relationships, healthy relationships involve compromise. Of course, no relationship is going to be perfect. But when things go wrong or there are issues, they can be talked out. None of this is detrimental to your health or well-being. But in toxic situations, it's very detrimental. That emotional roller coaster of, yes, things are great. Oh, life is awesome. That high. And then all of a sudden to drop so low, that's unhealthy. I don't want to ride that roller coaster. I want off. Excuse me. Can I turn in my ticket stuff? Because I don't want to ride that ride anymore. It's not healthy. People can identify by looking at you, whether you're happy or sad to know up. They must have had a bad day today up. They must have had a good day today. Those toxic individuals change your mood, change your your mindset. There's so much much going on in the world right now that toxic relationships are the least of my worries. There is a killer virus out here. People are dying. Children can't go to school. People can't go to work. Life is rough right now. And toxic relationships should be the last thing that we have to deal with, which is why it's so important that if there's anything in your life that's toxic, anything causing you any unease, anything that's disturbing your peace, that you remove it from your life. And I understand it may be hard, but trust me, once you remove that burden out of your life, the peace that comes with it afterward is amazing. I just had a situation where I just removed a toxic individual from my life. And I know now looking back on it, I should have removed this individual a while ago. But because I did care, I stayed in it. I stuck around. I dealt with it longer than I should have. But when I tell you when everything hit the fan, I went to sleep that night in peace. When I tell you I was so happy that night, I slept like a baby because it was no longer any worries, no longer any concerns, no longer any burdens on me because of another individual. I 100% felt at peace. I 100% felt happiness. I 100% felt joy and knowing that I knew that I was worth more than being in a toxic situation. I knew that I was worth so much more. And the fact that I allowed another individual to cloud my view of myself will never happen again. Never. So that's why I'm trying to talk to other individuals and let people know if you're in those toxic situations, remove yourself. It's for your own better good. You will be fine. There's no way that Your life could be missing anything by removing a toxic individual from your life. Actually, it only goes up by removing that toxic individual, whether it's a job, a coworker, a friend, a relationship, a family member. You're allowing for space for something new to occupy that toxic environment, an environment that used to be toxic. You're allowing for it to now be home to joy, peace, new friendships, a new job a new work environment, better relationships with other family members because those toxic situations hinder your life so much. And a lot of times we don't even realize it until we're out of the situation, which is the sucky part about it. But I'm telling you guys, if you just look, identify those red flags and make moves to remove yourself from that situation. You have to start. I know this sounds bad, but other people do it. So it's really not that bad when you think about it from protecting yourself do what's best for you at the end of the day everyone operates that way in these toxic situations that toxic individual is doing what's best for you for them to make sure that you stay in their life to continue to benefit them so i'm telling you if you do what's best for you you would say my happiness is best for me 
my joy. I have dreams that I want to reach. I have money that I want to make. I have places I want to travel. Journeys in life that I want to fulfill. And by doing that, looking at things that you want to do and focusing your energy on things that benefit you and your life and make you more productive, you realize that those toxic individuals are not helping in no form, shape or fashion. And then you'll be okay to say, all right, you know what? You're toxic. You're not helping my life. You're actually hurting me. You're pushing me down, drowning me. And you can remove them from your life and keep it pushing. Move on to the next venture. Figure out what you want to do with your life. Make new goals. But it all starts with you. You have to realize that you are worth. You have to understand your value. Figure out what's important to you. And when you write all those things down, you'll see that toxic relationships don't fit in anywhere on that list. And at that point, you realize, I need to remove this individual from my life. And the only way you can do that is to remove yourself from that equation. Remove yourself from that relationship. Remove yourself from that friendship. Remove yourself from that work environment. Remove yourself from that family group. Toxic relationships are everywhere. But once you are able to identify that, you will be able to be a better person for yourself and do better for you. Do what's beneficial for you in your life. Because of that, I feel like now I am at a better place in life, um, a a deeper understanding, a better growth um, for my own personal beings. But going forward, no toxic relationships. Toxic relationships are dangerous. The definition says toxic is deadly. I know I don't want that in my life. And I don't want that for you in your lives either. Thank you so much for listening. And until next time, continue to stay blessed. Peace and love.